Hey everybody, happy holidays and happy new year. We are out at Harbortown Golf Links today. Let's get right to the first tee. And for those of you who haven't been here, the key to scoring here is going to be keeping it in the fairway as all of the fairways are tree lined and super tight. I uh, was unable to do that on the first, but hit a really good slice around the tree and we're actually going to have a decent look at getting up and down for par. That was so cool. If you've been following along on the last few videos, you'll know that the driver has been absolutely despicable. So we're going to really focus on that. And for the most part, it cooperated. Right. And even though this found the rough on two, it was a really solid strike. After hitting a decent one here, I'm going to let you guys listen to my conversation with our caddy Will over the birdie putt. I'm thinking like you're like right here. Okay. So I'm gonna go. I might just go over this little doohickey. What do you think of that? Um, just out, just outside just of it. Just outside of it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, split, split is, that yeah. and the old cup. Okay. Up, down. It's coming down. Okay. You're gonna be pretty flat, like. Flat to maybe a little bit down at your feet, yeah. and then at the cup, it's going to cut down and to your right. Okay. Come on, good putt. Dang. Let's go. Yeah. Easy. That birdie is going to bring us to one under and hit another decent drive here, a little skinny, but we managed to find the left side of the rough and uh, unfortunately hit a really, really poor wet shot. Right there. Such a bad shot. That'd be pretty good, right? Yeah. Fools, Zach, it's for you. So close. Unfortunately, not able to pay off that good shot, but nonetheless, an easy tap in par. You have to be really careful around Harbor Town. All of the sandy areas are quote unquote waste bunkers, so you can ground your club, but they're really difficult to play out of. And I was in a really awkward position here and hit one of the best shots I've hit in quite some time. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the best shot ever. It's the best shot ever of all time. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. So uphill. I think that was it too. Ah, darn it. I mean, should be good, right? That's 90 and it's gonna roll so far away from the flag. But lucky for you, the rain just broke. So it's soft and fancy. That's so bad. Yeah. 
Yeah. You at least. Oh my goodness gracious. I should have stepped off of it. Good. Sometimes all you can do is laugh it off in golf, and I was able to do that with those two bunker shots. Hit an okay one here, but just really impossible down the hill, and managed to hit a really solid putt here to save a double. Keep going. Keep going. And I can see the comments now, so before they come, the back tees were closed. That is why we didn't play them. I mean... And when the RBC Heritage is here, the ninth hole is one of the fan favorites to watch them try and drive it. I was unable to do so and thought I hit one of the best shots around the tree here. Unfortunately, it just bounced long. Excluding that blow up on seven, I actually played pretty well on the front and was happy with the driver. Now we're on to an arguably tougher back nine. Let's see if we can keep the scores going. little snap hook coming back into the game there and was fortunate to find it. Um, thought it was going to hit the water, but it actually ended up carrying and then hit a pretty poor wedge shot, but I'm going to have a putt to get up and down for par here. Onto a moment that all golfers fear, a group letting you play through and you end up hitting it right at them. What? what? This is either going to be really cool or really bad. It was really bad. Uh. After embarrassing myself two times, the only way to make up for it is sticking one close, which I managed to do. And we're actually going to have a look at par. And once again, that group is letting me play through on the tee. And what do I do? Go and lose a ball and have to drop for three. Safe to say Will is better at reading greens than filming me. But shout out to him. He was great all day. If you're ever down in Harbortown Links, I'd highly suggest trying to get Will on the bag. He actually is an assistant superintendent at a course locally when he's not caddying, so he's super knowledgeable of all the grain and all the little nuances of green reading. After hitting this one down the middle and walking up the fairway, Will shared some really cool uh, history about the hole. Uh, the course is designed by Pete Dye, and his wife Alice was super inspirational in a lot of his designs and she actually designed the bunkering around this hole 
and many people argue that it's the best hole on the course. Since we had some time for fun, Will wanted me to hit one from the back tees the pros play, and I somehow hit it closer than I did with a wedge from about 60 yards closer. Pushing the left to righter. <laughs> well, we made it all the way to the 15th before a snap hook, and now we have tried to hit one recovery shot that did not go well, and buckle up for the best recovery shot I have ever hit. Wow. That was. I channeled my inner Phil Mickelson at TPC there and hit the one gap that I saw that the guy did not want yeah, me to try, to but, you know, slope. for the content, right? Just pulled it. Ah. Oh, think that's going to carry the weight. I think you're good. I think it's gonna be really good. Accidentally. That's a terrible shot. Get up, get up, get up. Really poor wedge shot, and here comes another laugh it off moment. I hope I make that because it'd be the ugliest par ever. <laughs> like, come on. 66 yards. <laughs> And we're still short. <laughs> Did I yank it? it? Might have just stayed out. I don't know. I think it stayed out. I might have had. With authority. And after a tap in par on 17 to keep our break 80 hopes alive, what's better than hitting one tee shot on 18? How about reloading and hitting three off the tee after blasting one about five streets over to the right? Pretty okay with that. And we will have this to finish with an 80 even. A uh, bit of an unfortunate ending there, but nonetheless an amazing day with a really good caddy in Will. So shout out to him and the rest of the staff over at Harbortown Golf Links. Appreciate you guys sticking it out. Happy holidays, happy new year, and we will see you in the next one.